That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Interesting aftertaste. New Belgium Abbey Belgian White. Abbey Belgian Style Double. I don't know why I can read. Hello, everyone. You're watching Fantavision, and this is Tales from Retail. My name is Fanta, and today we're going to be discussing GameStop again. I know it's a, a big shock, big surprise. Crazy that we're talking about that again. I think next week I'm going to discuss Walmart and all of its wonderful managers, but I didn't want to put the same kind of video next to the same kind of video because I've done that in the past. Didn't go over so well. So we're going to kind of break up the topics, keep from, you know, the monotony from setting in, and we're going to discuss mornings at GameStop. Now, what was it like to open a GameStop store from the manager point of view? Because I was a manager, and often, I mean, I did this a lot, uh, I opened in the morning. And you think it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It's like, oh, you just turn the registers on and look at the store and then open it. Unfortunately, not as easy as you think. So, what were mornings like? So, you first arrive in the crisp cold morning. Now, the times I'm a bit fuzzy on because it's been several years since I've worked at the establishment known as GameStop. Uh, I'm just going to say 7 a.m. because whatever. You're not going to fact... Yes, you are. It's YouTube. I guess you'll fact check me on when they actually have the managers going to open. But depending on the day, I'm just going to say 7 a.m. So... 7 a.m., I get there, unlock the store, go inside, it's all dark, I have to sprint to the alarm system, immediately punch in the numbers before it goes off, and then I throw whatever work shirt I have on the table, I go to the thing, the, the computer terminal to clock in, clock in, and then I start the safe combination, because if I recall, it takes like 10 15 minutes to open the damn safe it takes a while so i start that going i go on the computers i start those getting up and then while all of that's going on i look around the store make sure everything looks great for the morning turn on the demo units sometimes i turn on the lights most of the time i wouldn't just because people even though the gates are down they would try to open the door Really? I haven't turned the on the open sign on. I haven't even opened the damn gates. And yet you're trying to get... It. Why are you here at 7 a.m.? Anyway, so that's how the very beginning started. Now, another thing that really sucked about the mornings and opening was price changes. Those were fun. Now, I don't remember if those were every morning. I don't think they were. I think there was a specific day of price changes. Um, sometimes throughout the week you get a couple... But there's a specific day where you got hundreds of price changes. And it was especially bad during the holidays because prices just kept fluctuating. I mean, imagine going to like a Chuck E. Cheese or Peter Piper Pizza or whatever your local equivalent is. And you're playing a game and you hit that jackpot and you see tickets just pouring out. Now, in that moment, you're super excited, right? Like, because you're like, oh man, look at all this paper currency, I'm gonna go turn it in for a piece of crap at the thing, and it's gonna be amazing, awesome, I won, at GameStop, it was like, oh, I just won a lot of work, and the, but it looked like the ticket system, too, it even folded itself up like the tickets from one of those amusement places, so you, you think you'd be excited for what's going on right now, but really, the longer it's running, uh, the more work you have, and you need to get those price changes bef done before you open, I mean, sometimes you can't find some of the games, but you need to get it done before open because if they are raising the prices of any of those games and somebody out there happens to find the box that doesn't have that new price change on it, you have to give them that discount. And if you give somebody that discount and your manager's there, they're going to be pissed. So you don't want to do that. So you get these hundreds of price changes and not only are they price changes, not only is it, oh, I have to go find the case and put the, you know, the tag on it. In GameStop's just brilliancy, just in their genius mindset, they decided to take all the DS games and take them out of the cases. They decided to take all the Wii games, 
under a certain amount and take them out of the cases. So you've got thousands of games that are not even in a box art case. They're not even in the case. You have to sift through thousands of these stupid yellow envelopes. I swear, I'm going to be seeing yellow for the rest of my life after sifting through all those damn things. And you have to hunt them. And now these things, we try to alphabetize them. We tried. We tried our hardest. We did it as much as we could whenever we had time. Just to kill time, we'd alphabetize those damn DS games and those stupid Wii games. But you know what? Customers doesn't give a damn. They really don't. They don't appreciate the hard work that it takes to do that. So, of course, every single morning they're all messed up. Especially when it comes around price changes because it's once a week, if I remember correctly. All these things could have changed, by the way. I mean, these are all asterisks. I mean, I haven't worked at GameStop in years. So this could have changed the way they do price changes. I doubt it. Um, and I doubt that they've changed the whole DS envelope system and Wii envelope system. I haven't really looked too hard whenever I go into a GameStop. I kind of want to get in and get out. I mean, as much as you can in a GameStop. But those envelopes were such a pain in the ass. And you bet, you freaking bet that a customer almost once a month, maybe twice a month, maybe every other week, would find a game that for some freaking reason did not get a price change. Because sometimes there happened to be a third case out in one of those stupid bins for the value games instead of just two cases. And, oh my god. So, then also if you... Get the combination wrong again to open the safe. You have to wait another 15 minutes. I didn't say that part, but it's true. You have to wait another 15 minutes. That's always fun. And then you have to get all the money sorted out. You have to... Usually in the morning, it's not too bad. I think you're supposed to count it. We didn't most of the time. going to be real honest. I know my managers didn't. I didn't. Night guy, The guy the night before was supposed to count it. Why am I going to count it again? doesn't make any sense. So... We get all that set up, and then we get the demos set up, get the gate up, because we're getting near open now. Um, we have about an hour before, I think, between clock in and open. And also during this time, if it wasn't super busy with price changes and stuff like that, um, you're not supposed to do this, but everybody did it because we were right next to Walmart, and the bakery was right next to the, the entrance, so we'd go over there pick up something and come right back, unlock the doors, go inside, eat breakfast while you're doing the rest of whatever tasks you have. I mean, most of the time I'd try to do this before I clocked in and unlocked, but it's 15 minutes for the stupid safe. I'm going to get food. So we got food and I'm trying to think of the other things that we do when we open it. The thing about opening is that you're tired, you usually want a couple minutes after opening to just kind of take in the fact that you have the rest of the day still and you're only an hour in. You got about another seven hours or so depending on what your shift is. And you just kind of want a couple moments of, well, as much peace and quiet as you can get in Walmart or GameStop because all the demo units are running and that stupid TV is going on a cycle. But every morning I would also turn down that freaking TV because I don't know if you guys have gone into GameStop lately, but those freaking TVs are so loud. I go inside, I just want to leave. Not just because I'm in GameStop, but because I'm in a place that is just trying to destroy my eardrums with their advertising. I get it. I know that game is coming out. I mean, I'm getting annoyed and there's a customer now because of how repetitive the loops are. How few things there are in that loop to keep it interesting. At least when I worked there... I felt like there was more stuff in the loop, but now, I don't know. Also, another thing that I had to deal with when I worked at GameStop was the morning announcements. Yeah, there were morning announcements. I, I don't remember what days they were, but they definitely happened, and they were always awful, because there was this guy called Captain Redbeard, and I don't know if you guys remember who he was, or if you saw him on the GameStop TV, or if you worked for GameStop, but the nightmares that are Captain Redbeard, oh my god, this was a guy that was way too into his job, holy crap, I mean, he, I, I props to him for loving his job, 
At least he made it seem that way, but my god was he annoying. He did not have... He felt a little bit too overzealous about GameStop. And I know that that's what he's supposed to be, but god, he's just that whole Captain Redbeard persona. Ah, uh, it's like you could just tell he thought he was cool, but it's like you're not. You're on GameStop TV. Oh, it's just cringeworthy as hell. Ah. Uh, and then the announcements were always just boring crap and I don't know. Most of the time there weren't too many announcements. I don't remember what days they were. It's all fuzzy, like I said, it was years ago. Um, these retellings are as accurate as I can make them, just because it's been a while. And I'm glad to say it's been a while, because it seems like things at GameStop have only gotten worse. And also, the thing about the whole opening thing is that it was different at other stores, because... Not only were other stores, do they have different security levels, like the one that had the cameras and the microphones and was listening 24-7, creepy, Big Brother's always watching there, but there, the gates they use in different stores, some of them were just a pain in the ass, like ours were annoying enough, but you could just throw it up and it kind of went the rest of the way. A lot of them have like the sideways ones where you have to like drag it as hard as you can across the front of the store, um, sometimes you notice that the, like, the guy in the night before really didn't spot check the walls before he left, so you're sitting there frantically trying to fix everything, oh, and then marketing, you also usually start doing in the morning as well, and marketing, I will go into into another video, because that is a mess on itself, I will tell you what it's like, kind of like the, a, you, the typical day at GameStop, and uh, some of the, the interesting things you have to do. And some of the things that others might find tedious, I actually found kind of enjoyable, just because it was something to do. And I'll tell you about that. Tall, bleh. I'll tell you all about that in a future episode. So, that's my typical morning at GameStop. Um, except for one more, one more thing before I sign off. It's not a super long episode, not super short, whatever. There was a point in time where we were so freaking strict about numbers. I don't know what was going on in the GameStop ecosystem, but we had to write down goals like every morning. And we had to look at our previous time's goals, see how we did, punch in the numbers, compare ourselves to each other, compare ourselves to ourselves. And, oh, it was awful. Every morning we had to do that for a while. Not a good time. Anyway, that's all I can remember for right now for mornings at GameStop. If I can't, you know, if I think of something else later, or if you guys think of something, comment that down below. Comment what your experience is like in the morning at GameStop because, oh, one more thing. The customers in the morning were just, they were just the best. Usually really unhappy people, because like I said, it's like 8 a.m. or... Yeah, it's like when we opened was 8 a.m. And for some reason, they were there at 8 a.m. And I can understand if a game just came out the night before, but every other shopper, like, why are you waiting in front of the door? Like, they're trading a couple games, they're all impatient. It's like, dude, I didn't make you wake up to come here. What? And it's not like we're a bank. We're not like a establishment where people have to get errands done and it's part of their lives. Like, it's something important. It's freaking GameStop. I mean, this is a place that is so superfluous. I mean, it's going to be destroyed by Amazon and Best Buy and digital games. And yet these people wake up and not only get there, sometimes before me even... Sometimes they waited out there the whole half hour and then they come in just to trade in a couple games to return something. I don't get it. I have... We also got like really interesting people in the morning that would just kind of hang around. Just kind of like, I know it's a shop and you're supposed to like, you know, be able to look around. But I mean, they would look around like they were there for hours. Some of these people and it was always the morning people. I mean, we had a couple afternoon people, but... Always the morning people were either in a bad mood, very impatient, or they stayed there until I took my lunch break. I don't know. I don't get it. 
very interesting. That's all I remember for now. If I remember something, I'll bring it up in the next episode. Like I said, comment down below what your experiences are in the morning at GameStop. And if you've worked at GameStop, what was your morning like when you were opening the store or your manager was opening the store, you were just there for it? Let me know. And also like the video, helps out a lot. Subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I really do, I really need this from you guys. I need you guys and gals, my 7% gal audience, to have a fanta Fantastic day. See ya. That sip was a lot better.